hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to make your site load faster here on wix let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on wix i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to make your Wix website load faster, you can implement several optimization techniques. Alright, so the first is go to the website that you are working with. And then from there, on the website builder editor, if you are using an images here, for example, this one, I'm going to add an element. I'm going to add an image. You want to make sure that you use smaller file sizes without sacrificing quality. As you can see, you can upload and import. Click on that. You can click on the upload images. Now, there are several tools like, for example, Canva. I am using this platform to optimize images on my Wix website or several websites that I am working with. Now here, there's going to be an option in the upper right corner that says share. Now you have multiple options here. You can download and one of the suggested files for optimized images on Wix is going to be um, JPEG and PNG. But what I could uh, share to you is you might want to use SVG, which is best for web design and animations. You see that? Now, if you download the file, if you still want to optimize without sacrificing quality, you might want to go to this website called TinyPNG. All right. It's a straightforward process wherein all you have to do is you can convert Smart WebP, PNG, and JPEG compression for a faster website. All right. All you have to do is drop your images here up to 20 images, max is 5 MB each. And of course, just switch the toggle to on and you can convert any images automatically to webp jpeg png or you can select all apart from that you can also go to the jpeg optimizer as you can see similarly to tiny png it's a free online tool to bulk compress and reduce jpeg png and gif image size convert them out to other formats displaying in the web and forums or blogs and especially using for your website now let me upload the file now once you have selected the image you want to make sure that wix lazy load is enabled for images so so they are gonna be they only load when visible on the screen so that's a very important all right and for example if you are adding elements here and say you wanted to put in text let's say for text it's gonna be like um this one I want you to stick to web safe fonts or minimizing the number of custom fonts you used on your site. All right. That's, that's very important because for one, ensure fonts are optimized by following the font display swap property, which follows or fallbacks until the custom loads is enabled. All right. And of course, you might want to limit the uh, text that you wanted for example this if you feel like it's cluttering the uh, interface you might want to delete that to avoid fallbacks all right and if you wanted to add more here for example we're hovering to the integrations okay say for example you wanted to put in video and music i'm going to put in youtube i'm gonna put in um let's say vimeo you can drag and drop I'm going to resize all of these elements so you can have a better idea on what or what not to do when creating a website here on Wix. Uh, daily motion. I'm going to add. You see the response times is affected heavily if you add more elements inside the website. Of course, that is dependent on your the, the specs of your computer, your uh, internet connection as well. Now, doing this, Wix automatically applies browser caching, but you can further optimize by ensuring that images, scripts, and style sheets are cached properly. 
right you see that it's affecting the whole design of our uh, website you see now as you can see the idea is the more elements a page has the longer it takes to load all right so my suggestion is stick to a minimalist design with fewer widgets and elements if you don't want any of it just stick to the uh youtube or vimeo all right that way using fewer elements in the page is very practical and minimalist but of course it ensures that your website loads faster now another option that you can use is monitoring the speed with tools like google's page speed insights now I'm using this tool for quite some time. Now, the idea is that it's a free tool developed by Google, all right, that analyzes the performance of a web page. I'm going to put in the uh, web page, for example, um, going to be like Wix.com. Click on Analyze. Now, it will show you the performance of a web page and provides suggestions to make it load faster, as you can see it from here. It scores websites on a scale from 0 to a 100 based on various factors like affecting performance, all right? After that, of course, it offers actionable suggestions for improving your website speed, such as optimizing images, reducing server response times, and leveraging browser caching. Now, it can measure your site's visual stability, and it tracks how quickly your website responds to user interactions. Right, so I've been using this. You can uh, choose from the view from mobile to desktop. So there's a lot of that is uh, performance, accessibility, best practices, and SEO. Another tool that you can use is GT Metrics. Now it is another powerful free website performance testing tool that analyzes a website's speed and provides detailed insight into why a site may be loading slowly, along with specific recommendations for improvement if you type your url here for example that'll be uh, wix.com click on test now it provides two main performance scores all right just wait for it to load it will show the different aspects of your website contributes to load time such as fully loaded time total page size number of requests it will display a visual timeline of how each resource for example images scripts etc loads helping to identify bottlenecks all right and of course you can record the load process of your website and play it back to see how the page elements load helping you visually identify load issues you see that after doing so you would be able to identify the uh, appropriate ways to speed up your website and using them together can give you a comprehensive view of your site's performance also that wix built-in cdn all right, which is going to be content delivery network to serve your website's content from the closest server to the visitor. Ensure it's always enabled. And if you want to know more about CDN, you might want to go to the Wix Encyclopedia to get more information about it. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.